Hello everybody and welcome back hey, to life. Life is strange. We got a damn and don't want up, man. In the last episode, we were in another dimension, another time, another place, another universe, but in the same world, if that makes any sense. And Chloe here was in a wheelchair and her respiratory system was failing. But William was alive because we altered the past to alter the future but that was a horrible uh horrible place a horrible time and we couldn't stay there because we got to figure out what happened to rachel amber after all so we're back we, f we found the picture that we initially used to go I back missing a major clue keep digging chloe at the time where william had lost his had um lost his life we went back there and altered that, but so we went back to that same picture and through there kept things the same to to be back where we are now. Just go watch the last episode, it's hard to explain, alright. But I'm anyway. So sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. Yeah, it's it's actually really fucked up. Yes, Chloe Price was here. It's the old Chloe we know and love, right? Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Damn, this is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. Okay. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Lots of. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. Loved her a lot. No doubt about that. That's my Chloe. The bad girl's guide to guns. What's going on here? What clues have we got? So close yet so far away. We need more. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three beats step douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the dark room. I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. <laughs> hour. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. Yeah. Couldn't do it. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Oh, boy. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? A lifetime of time. That's for sure. Oh no. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Well, we'll see if we can let it out. This might be the last poster advertising Arcadia Bay after tomorrow night. Scary, huh? Birds in a bathroom again? Turn the light on. Let's open that window for it. Fly, be free. 
put the birdie out. Actually, let's keep that open. I don't need that bird flying into windows. I feel paranoid about it. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Yeah, I think that's for the best. <clears throat> oh, that blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. The other Chloe was a real Chloe too. Just wasn't part of this place. Right. Downstairs we go. Oh, shit. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Hmm. Do you mean dark room? Do you know something? David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. I feel kind of bad for David. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Warren, it's been a while, bro. Then they on a texting spree. And we have messages. What is this? Hi, whore. Hope you enjoyed the pick. It's your last one. I thought you might be ready for the Vortex Club, but after the shit you pulled with Jefferson, no fucking way. You're such an emo queen that you didn't want anybody going with him to San Francisco. You're even too much of a pussy to enter your cliche selfies in one dumb contest. It's all about Max. Even going to the roof was about showing off, not about saving Kate. I'm going to make sure nobody at Blackwell's fooled by your woe is Max act. Get ready. Well, there's the old Victoria. And that was no emoji. Huh? What's going on here? Okay, same stuff as before. It's not like... What happened here? We're... I got a weird text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank and it's from a block number? Oh, I'm sorry. Some jackass in my class thought that'll be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither. Sorry. I'm just being a dad. I know this has been a tough week for you. It's almost over. I'll call you guys later. Love you. Investigation without my help. No, just boy talk soon, thanks. Okay, but you can't keep secrets from Ace Reporter Juliet Watson. Hello? Hmm. Max Wax, I'm busy blazing. What up? Do you know Frank Bowers' drugs? That's it. Ask Nathan, he knows him, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? <laughs> How are you? I hope you can still visit me this week. I have some important things to talk about. Of course, I'm still coming to visit you. You can't stop me. I miss you and my bunny. We all miss you and your bunny misses you. Yeah, you are such a great friend. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you. And mother. Live. Well, this was still safe as long as you're around. Now back to the books. Talk soon.
A lot of text messages. Ouch. David, do not be here when I get back from work. I mean it. Jay Price. Wow. Did I actually cause that clock to stop? <sighs> Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? We didn't do this, okay? David did it to himself. He should have never had cameras around. I'm not going to feel bad for that. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. Let's put our discussion for it. Ms. Grant has informed me that her petition was only one avenue of protest. While we initiate this new era of Blackwell security, we must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. Oh, wait, there was more. I promise me, how Miss Grant. Twist that knife. I didn't need a surveillance camera to see the suspicion, the suspension coming. Best of luck to you, Mrs. Grant. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Shit. What's this? There's more to David Manson than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Joyce, you know I'm not too good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstepped bounds with the surveillance and suspicion, and I am truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I have never told you. You are my wife and partner, and I know we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... And he didn't finish. Yes. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. What the hell did Thank David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? What the hell is going on? I wonder if David is going to the party. A locker. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, what you hiding? We need the combination. For we don't once, have it. I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Gotta get that picture on. Hmm. There are any clues I here? I'll help Miss Grant next time. Oh man, at least he has one weird fan. Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. All right, let's try. No, I don't want to use it. I'm going to break this thing open. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Oh, maps. 
notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. How do you get a picture of that? He was there. Score. Back to Chloe now. First things first, we were never here. What was that? It's amazing how much drug. Looks like David already booked a room. Call Chloe. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. That has been on the agenda. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Castrate that little doggy. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. What have you been drawing? I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just... Pray I can get this drawing right. Another hot dog picture there. I don't understand the references with the hot dog. 
That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Let's ask her about herself I first. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. And I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, it, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? Uh, talk about Prescott family. I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people. But Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Alice in Wonderland? Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Her uh, bored cat. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. I'll sit eventually, but I want to look around first a bit. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. I just want to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery in the Blackwell Academy is united in prayers for your return. The students and faculty have organized a rally in your honor, and I've never seen such an outpouring, such outpouring of academic and community support for any student in our history. I know my words may mean little given your circumstances, but it's important you know that we do care. If you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Sincerely, Principal Ray Wells. That was a nice letter. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Hmm. We got a sign. Well, guess we talked to Kate about it. Hey, Kate. Back again. Which makes me happy. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be... Uh... Not nice. But I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive. But I feel her struggle. I wasn't so nice to her this week either when I took a picture of her covered in paint. Uh, it was not a proud moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? Insecure. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. More. No, I think it will take more than that, Max. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. The same as before. If this gets Kate through the night, 
So be it. Hell yeah, it got me through the night a couple of times. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. I've, um... I've got suicidal thoughts, you know? But never would I ever go through with it or anything like that. Never hurt myself. Because I know things could get better. Gotta be strong. Amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? Oh, time travel is such a mindfuck. Uh, if this game ain't art, I don't know, you know? If you don't see this game as art, I, I, there's no hope for you. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Oh, yeah. Mr. Jefferson is back. Got Daniel under the tree. Samuel and Miss Grant. You really feel like you know these people. You get to know them, you know? Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Mm -hmm. Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Uh, Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So, you don't hate me for what I said to the principal? I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. The skater. Good idea. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Principal Wells was so loaded the other night here. He sure was. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? 
I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Ha, uh, bitter. I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Ha. Uh, salty. Talk to you later, Max. Let's ask her about Nathan. Like that war. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as... I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Okay, Brooke. Um, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Oh, he asked you? You know, science geeks stick together. But honestly, neither of us can explain this phenomenon. It's pretty scary. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Well, we still got some people to talk to. Clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Talk about the animals. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. What happened to them? I would say the sky is too dirty for their wings, but... Something worse is in the air. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. Mm. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh, no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Cool. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, Oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Changes and real my ass. I think everything is changing here. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, Squirrel Paparazzi? We all need to look out for each other these days. How do I do this though? Oh. Get that food in your belly. I'm gonna keep trying to lure it, like... Okay. Let's take a picture! Of the duo!
I don't know if I got that one last time. I don't remember. Samuel misses his squirrels. Yeah, I think I did get that one last time. Let's talk to Miss Grant. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. Huh. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. There must be a scientific explanation, right? When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. Damn. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Hmm. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? They're like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. Damn. Well, I know about butterflies, that's for sure. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. We're not. No way. I just have to uh, ask him a question. I saw him leaving campus looking angrier than usual. But to be honest, Max, Nathan hasn't been too well lately. You might know more about that than me. Too much. I can tell. You look like you have more than a question on your mind. Maybe asking Nathan isn't such a good idea right now. You hear me, Max? That's a good point, but we need answers. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? No. Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. Word. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. It's all about Principal so Wells. Why doesn't Principal Wells stop the party? To be honest, he doesn't seem to care about what's going on here. Raymond Wells has saved this school from financial disaster, and he cares more than you know. You're wise, but don't be so quick to judge everybody. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. I feel like the sky wants to yell at us. The sky wants to yell at us. Maybe that's thunder. You're expecting thunder, buddy. Enter the boys' dormitories. Well, we do need to do that. Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. Why, what happened? Upgrades. Justin, 
It's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on, man. Try going I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. So I hear. Any word at all? Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. I'm working on it. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Huh. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. I think I'll have a little bit of time left to go in there. It's so lame they don't have co ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. <laughs> Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Who needs a dorm map anyway? At least I can see that Nathan isn't in room 106 or 108. You still needed Nathan's room number is 111. Awesome, perfect timing. There's more? Oh no. Oh, Kate brings it. So room 111 is the magic number. Evan, of course. That's why no shits were given. <laughs> Evan rolls. He said, fuck the Vortex Club. Apparently, Logan missed this poster. Look before you lust. Always use protection to secure your future. Oh, why, hello, Trevor. And Dana. What? Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Damn, the boys' dorms is a shithole. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Ugh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Zack or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. The Prescott's ruled his this town. This can only be Nathan's room. This just makes me think of Kate. If you're the victim of bullying, you are not alone. Come join a monthly support discussion group. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. Stephen Hawking. There is so there is no unique picture of reality. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Oh, you Bigfoots. Alright. Let's go into Nathan's room. Oh, it's locked. You know, break it open, huh? Yeah, this is gonna be an experience. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. Alright. I'm gonna check out this room, but I'm gonna do that next time. When I return to play Life is Strange. The Dark Room. Episode 4. Hope everybody's enjoying. We're gonna check out Nathan's room, see if we can find some clues. Catch you next time. God, they're in the one-up man out.
Bye-bye.